Hi folks, we're going to take a look at this application question which is going to use the uh, quadratic formula. So let's look at the question here. It tells us that a baseball is thrown from one meter above the ground. The height of the ball in meters with respect to time is given by this function here. And then they say, assuming the ball is not caught, determine how long it takes for the ball to hit the ground. Okay, so a couple of things I want to say. First of all, it makes sense that the ball is thrown from one meter above the ground, because if we look at this equation, which is in standard form, we see that the c value, which is the y-intercept, is equal to 1. Okay, secondly, I notice that this question here does not talk at all about maximums or minimums or largest or smallest values, so we should know right off the bat that we're not going to be completing the square. Okay. However, we're looking to see when the ball is going to hit the ground. And that's when we figure, well, the ground represents a height of zero. Okay. So the first thing we should do is replace h at d. So since we're hitting the ground, we know that h at t is going to be equal to zero. So in my equation, I can replace h at t by zero. So I have zero equals negative 5t squared plus 20t plus 1. And here, I recognize this as a quadratic equation. Okay? Not only is it a quadratic equation, but I already have 0 on one side of the uh, equation. Okay? So I'm not even going to try to factor this, because the uh, numbers are a bit large. And I see here negative 5 and 1. I don't see any way of getting that middle term of 20. Okay? So since I have the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. I know that the solutions to these are given by what we call the quadratic formula. So negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so this is the formula that I'm going to be using. So the first thing I want to do here is identify what a, b, and c are. So a here is the coefficient of, in this case here, t squared, so negative 5. The b value is going to be the coefficient of t, here 20. And then the c value is just the constant at the end, which is equal to 1. Now that I've uh, isolated uh, these three uh, components for the uh, quadratic formula, I can now apply it. Now notice here my variable is t and not x. So I'm going to use the variable t is equal to, so negative b. So negative 20. Okay, I'm going to input these numbers now into my quadratic formula. So plus or minus the square root of b20 squared minus 4 times a, which is negative 5, times c, which is 1. And all of that is going to be over uh, 2 times a, which is negative 5. Okay, so let's now start simplifying. So here we have negative 20. Okay, plus or minus, and in the square root, so I can calculate this here. So I've got 20 squared, well, let's put that so you can see it, 20 squared minus 4 times negative 5 times 1 is equal to 420. So square root of 420 all over 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Okay, so that means t can either be equal to negative 20 plus square root of 420 divided by negative 10, or t can be equal to negative 20 minus square root of 420 all over negative 10. Okay? Now, if this were just a straightforward math problem, this is how we would expect you to leave your answers in, uh, in uh, perfect form here, not making an approximation, but since it's an application type question, and usually when we talk about time, we don't like to talk about time with these square roots in here. Okay, so I'm going to actually calculate these time values. Okay, so again, I'll show you what I do on the calculator because I want to make sure we're not making little, little errors here. So if I want to calculate this one here, please remember to put the numerator in brackets. Okay, so I'm going to open, gonna open up my bracket 20 or sorry, that should be, let me start over, negative 20. Let's clear that. So again, in brackets, negative 20 plus the square root of 420. Okay, close off the bracket for the numerator, and then divided by negative 10. Okay, 
and we get here as our answer that's uh, equal to negative 0 0.05 we'll say okay and now let's do the same thing for the other answer okay let's clear that off again our numerator in brackets negative 20 minus the square root of 420 close off the top bracket and then divided by negative 10 and here we get this 4.05 as an approximation okay now it would be tempting to just give these two as my answers however we know that our variable represents time okay so it doesn't make sense to include this answer here we're not considering negative time so the only answer that we're going to consider here is the 4.05 so here we can say it takes 4.05 seconds for the ball to hit the ground okay so there's our final answer but let's take a quick look as to why this might make sense so here if we were to draw this out so we know there was an x-intercept at well, let's show this here 4.05 and we had this other x-intercept at negative 0 0.05 okay but when we take a look at the equation here we notice that it's a parabola that opens downwards okay we also know from the equation that there's an x in, there's a y intercept at 1 so this graph probably does something like this but we're not interested in any of the negative time values we're only interested in what happens after time zero so this must be the trajectory of the ball it starts at one meter okay goes up into the air and then comes back down and hits the ground after 4.05 seconds